Okay, Gemini, welcome to your uh, December 2022 reading. This is how they see you. So let's see here. Okay. How do they see Gemini in December? And this could be anybody. It could be a loved one, your significant other. Um, and, um, ooh, there's a lot of uh, negative energy here. Um, Gemini, I feel like they see you as someone who's not able to move forward. Someone who's um, pretty much locked up in their head. They can't seem to, um, you know, like see see the light or or or, or um, move past some kind of issue in your head here, or some kind of situation. Um, they feel like they're you're very very stuck uh, mentally on something, and and but they also see you as as a I heard a bitch, <laughs> Gemini, um, um, someone who's 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 talking and saying a lot of things to create a lot of problems a lot of issues you, you know the queen of swords with the uh tower it, to me is a person that you know it's not holding anything back from anyone or, or from anyone they're not holding anything back and they're creating a lot of problems with their mouths so for me it's like someone who's very upfront not afraid to say how it is and some gemini's might take you know some sense of proudness with this and th that's who you are that's how you, that's who you are that's how you want to be that's fine but i feel like they see you as as um very very cold um towards other people kind of rude um you're creating a lot of problems by the things you're saying and then december so watch out for whatever it is that you're putting out there um gemini they see like they see you as someone who's very pro problematic here who um it's a lie who lies who's a thief this these are really negative cards who lies um who who you know is always feeling sorry for themselves and then they don't know what to do or which path to take yet they um that they see you like lying and taking things from other people right um with this um I feel like if you if if you might encounter this this situation oh shoot you might encounter this situation where you get um the you create some kind of um um some of um a sudden change for you you, you being honest and you telling people how it is and 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 not being <sighs> I'm saying not you're you're being honest. You're saying what you you feel, what you think it is, right? Um, you're telling what what is fair to them, but that's gonna create some kind of tower here. It's gonna create a tower for both of you guys, which is which means a separation. The tower is a separation, a breakup out of nowhere. Um, a maybe. Um, A um a sudden um disconnect from each other here that you created. I think you created this um Gemini. So watch out for that. I feel like they see you that you're creating all this all these issues within you guys' relationship. If this is someone that you're with, they I feel like that you're creating a lot of issues. I feel like I feel like this person now sees you different. Um, Gemini, I, I feel like they see you as a cold hearted person that is not uh, is not holding back for anyone, um, anyone or anything in their path. I feel like this is you, Gemini, and then you're just like going through things and saying, you know what, you get on my way, I'm going to take you down, I'm going to get you down, nobody gets in front of me and um, <clears throat> disrespects me or, 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 or um, lies to me or whatever. I feel like there's a lot of mental exhaustion with you going on with you um gemini like unbalanced um maybe emotions here or mental there's not enough mental clarity for you even though that you feel like you're saying a lot of things you know that you feel are um honest 
to what you believe but i feel like at the same time you just don't have all the information you don't you don't know where to go and, and there's still a lot of confusion within you and that's creating a lot of um chaos around your role that are around your person around your family so watch out for what you're what you're saying here in december that's how they see you and this could be your family too as well i feel like you're gonna try to one up someone here or you're gonna say something to somebody and not care about it but it's gonna put you in this state of of um um you know like feeling disappointed feeling left out pretty much and 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 just um feeling like you messed up in so many ways and then you missed out on an opportunity here with with the five of cups is definitely a low vibrational energy here after all this all these chaos that you were were created because this is how they see you so they see you creating a lot of chaos here or something that you you let out and and you let out you spoke out that created maybe a separation in the family a separation in your in your um uh in your um union here so and then created a lot of um mental um blockage here so be careful with that i mean it's gonna be really hard to come back from this i feel like you're gonna want to go back with the six of swords you're gonna want to come back and, and and make things better but not everybody it's how they say words sometimes hurt words hurt more than uh than the physical i don't know but um yeah it, you're gonna want to make things better but not everybody's gonna accept that and not everybody's gonna be like okay uh you know apology taken so watch out for what you say around these holiday um you know this holiday times in, or in december maybe you got something in your mind you want to tell but don't don't end up in this and this energy here because you just want to you know because you don't care the 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 you know, the Seven of Swords is someone who's, who's a thief, a liar, someone who just wants to get away with something, and someone who, who, who would just come in. And in this case, with the with the um, um, Queen of Swords and the and the Nine, was it Seven of Swords? Um, it's someone who's gonna come and say something just to stir shit up, stir shit up. So watch out, um, Gemini. Um, uh, try to ground yourself. Um, I'm gonna put Romance Angels because that's what I've been doing to all the, for all the zodiac signs. I don't know if this is someone like your partnership, I feel like you created some kind of separation or some kind of um, something here that they didn't like, okay? This is something that did not like and I feel like you heard them with these words that you said. So watch out for what you gotta say uh, on December, um, Gemini. So what is the... Um, What's the message for Gemini here? What is the message for Gemini? What is the message for Gemini? Oh. You got the uh, stay optimistic about your love life. Um, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So, um, you know, if, 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 if you're seeking love or whatever, you know, stay positive and I feel like this energy that you know it's this energy that you have that whatever it is you're saying or speaking or using that sword for is bringing down buildings and towers and people's relationships is bringing down people so um stay optimistic um think positive get out of this energy if you want to manifest someone who uh, will take care of you if not obviously you're gonna end up manifesting someone like you and um it's having two people like this going around just destroying shit and not taking shit from no one sometimes will you know lead into a lot of problems down the road um so you gotta have some kind some some sort of balance here so um i feel like um it's a warning more than anything i feel like they see you as someone who just is a bitch runs their mouth and i don't care about anybody else you are willing to say anything in front of any, anybody in front of your family and burn people down to the fucking floor for some reason that's what i'm getting so um yeah <laughs> gemini i'm sorry for that negative message but that's what the cards say and that's what spirit has to say so watch out for that